Merciful God, we thank you greatly. We thank you so very dearly. Thank you for the journey to purpose. As we conclude on the series today, Lord, please empower us and speak to us here. Every one of us, let our journey not be truncated. Let us arrive safely and fulfill purpose. And help us wherever we need amendment and help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I want to appreciate God for your life and I believe God that uh, gradually, hope you enjoyed your holiday yesterday, you know, and we have returned back to work, hope you are refreshed, praise the Lord. The, concluding on the topic, journey to purpose, remember our test is Esther chapter 2, 17 and 18, talking about Esther being crown king, that is an assurance that it doesn't matter where you are coming from, who you are. If you discover your purpose, you can fulfill it. And God is willing and ready. And how do I know? And what is important about journey, your, fulfilling your purpose? The thing about it is that every man on an assignment, every purposeful man is discreet and disciplined. And you see this in Genesis 39. If you read the whole of Genesis 39, you will see this there. The Bible says concerning the man Joseph, he was discreet and was disciplined. For a master to commit everything in his household to a servant, it means that the servant has proven himself. And also, he was so discreet and so disciplined that, you know, the master don't bother about anything. And he was also very faithful. You know, the master had tested him many times and had found him not wanting. Many of us, we don't have that integrity. A lot of people, they are smart, they are good, but they lack faithfulness, they lack loyalty, they lack capacity of integrity. And that's where they, they are messed up. You know, if you suffer for doing good, you can be sure you still get there. Because the God that rewards will reward you. Joseph faced his own challenges and he had the opportunity of messing up you know, the worst time for any man is the time that nobody is watching you. Because at that time, if you are not real, you will just collapse. Joseph had the opportunity to mess up. His master was not there, and the man that was the one offering him a stale meat. But he chose to fear God. Friends, you need to fear God. It's very, very important. If Esther had betrayed his, uh, his cousin's instruction, she would not be queen. She was modest. She was respectful. In front of all the Enoch and the head of the Enoch, and they did to her. They knew the king. They knew the needs of the king. And because, he, you know, just like my brothers from the east, when a man served correctly, a time will come, they will settle the man. And the man that did not serve correctly, the man will live before his time. I pray for you that you will reach your goal in life. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 and 2, it says in verse 2 particularly, there's a time of test, and a man that is given assignment must be found faithful. I pray for you that faithfulness will be your watchword. Integrity, discreet and discipline will be your watchword. The Bible says your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let the word of God guide you. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.